Welcome to the CSIT Ed Experts online forum. In this video, I will demonstrate uh, integrals and character uh, types with uh, some uh, programs uh, in Java. So, in my previous video, actually on this video, uh, actually on this video, I have demonstrated into uh, basic type systems of integral and character data types. I have shown, okay. if you see in this uh, video, you will see I have shown uh, the basic uh, characteristics Smart and names of, uh, let me show you in, uh, in previous video I have shown uh, <coughs> range and value range of byte types, short types, integer type, long type and uh, I have also demonstrated character type and I have also demonstrated uh, the difference between short and character type and I have also explained ASCII chart and Unicode system okay so actually I thought it would be better for me uh, to demonstrate this if I would uh, go through some actual program so this is why I have updated my this project I have updated my this this uh, Eclipse project, project CAC 1321 review uh, with some actual small programs so I will show you uh, I will explain you this uh, shortly so okay uh, so let's go to the first one uh, short data type right let me go to the first one like for instance short okay short short data type byte byte types okay so i have a program over here byte type example okay so let me run this program first before i demonstrate it so this program uh, says it uh, in the first three lines I have uh, printed out byte types mean value byte types max value and then byte type size okay so actually in order to uh, and then later I have in these two lines I have declared value of uh, value one this is the value variable of uh, byte type and value tools also is byte type actually it would be nice to declare a variable in uh, start a variable name with lowercase so I will uh, to how to rename this I will select this then refactor then rename or I will sh simply do Walter shift R then it will select uh, all of the positions and then it will allow me to change and then press enter so, but for this time I will select do all bring my cursor over here anywhere and then wall charge shift R in order to refactor then I am doing value in B lower case okay okay now for instance in these two lines I have been printing value 1 and value 2 so this is why so the output is same thing so Actually, so remember this in order to uh, see the mean value or max value or size of a type. So, you have to type in the corresponding uh, is a wrapper class. Actually, by it, we, when we type in by as a data type, then we will type in our lowercase by it. But when we uh, need, uh, want to find the max value, mean value, or size, we will type in by it as a wrapper class so all classes uh, start with a, an uppercase uh, character so this is why we type we're typing by so later you will know about a wrapper class so but if you type in b in lowercase it will not work because that is a type but b is by this byte is a class okay so as soon as you type in by for instance by then type press dot then it will show you the size and then other things size and then mean value max value so whatever you select then press enter then it will come automatically and if you run 
on this program by pressing Ctrl plus F11 it will show you the uh, uh, the it will show you uh, the result okay so it byte size is size is 8 that means 8 byte 8 bit or 1 byte and then here it says I have assigned value so byte types has um, minimum value 128 and maximum value 127 so we have to remember while you, you use a byte type variable you must maintain this range somehow you exceed this range it will be uh, it will not be working so for instance if i exceed this range by one number like if i say 128 instead of 127 then you see as soon as i uh, type in eclipse shows me a compiler error so then it programs will not run actually you see and then definitely if i keep 120 then definitely it is within range then it will work and now again so for instance now it is in range right 100 and 120 but if i want to uh, add i want to declare another variable type in byte okay that will hold the sum of value 1 and value 2 but this one is showing an error why is the error is coming one because if the sum is the sum of value 1 and value 2 value 1 is 100 and value 2 is 120 so the sum is 220 that is exceeding the range of uh, of a max value of byte types so this is why it is showing me an error happening in the beginning so sometimes you may not see this kind of error for instance if we do like for instance this plus 1 20 let us see what will happen this type okay sometimes it shows error and sometimes maybe it may not show error okay that's good it is showing an error sometimes it may not but it should not show me an error but if you say 10 then it will show you an error because it exceeds uh, the limit so this is why programmers need to be careful in order to declare a variable and then based on its data range it has uh, to be uh, be declared with an appropriate data type okay so this if, if you run this program then it will show uh, uh, <coughs> this uh, result okay so now that in my program I have shown that so range uh, uh, a byte type is from negative 128 to positive 127 including 0 so let's come let's come with for short type so short type has 16 bit so let me open a program with short type i have a program with short type okay <coughs> the short type is let me run this program quickly by pressing ctrl plus f11 the short time mean value is negative 32768 and then in uh, highest range is uh, max range is 32767 so then is this program is showing is good but if i go if i as i uh, showed you earlier if i exceed this value if i put 32768 right it is exceeding that uh, range so it is showing me an error but if i come this here down or to three to seven six seven then it is fine right so this is how we can see how you see the short type size is 16 that is 16 bit okay so this mean value and max value these are actually in innovation declared in short this is again this is a wrapper class of course short in upper case okay is a wrapper class that is corresponding uh, to the short uh, data type short is written in um, or lower case when you type in data type but this is a class name wrapper class we will talk wrapper class about later and then so this is the range of um, short type as i have demonstrated here and then let's go about integer and long types 
okay for integer type i have a program over here for integer type so integer type let us run this program quickly by pressing ctrl plus f11 so it says integer type has max value this is the max value and this is the mean value so in order to in order to assign a value like if i want to assign this value to this it will be okay and it's not a problem right so, but then if i do something like uh, plus 100 let me see plus thousand what will happen at this time it is knowing not showing me an error but <coughs> if i run this program let us see if i run this program because when i run this program the um, integer value 2 of integer type will exceed so this program should show me an inappropriate uh, result for value 2 right why it is showing me an inappropriate result although there is no error message in this program okay so because here it is exceeding it is exceeding the range so this is why it is exceeding, exceeding the range so it is showing me garbage value i'm putting although i'm putting uh, so this is a garbage value okay this is not an appropriate value so uh, next time you, you may run it you may see a different value different result but not the exact result so uh, this is why we need to be careful when, when we work with data and we need to be careful to declare a variable with an appropriate data type so mm, this is the range this is the lower bound of integer type and this is the upper bound of integer type and including zero definitely we can put zero and then for the again for long type so let us run this program let me run this program quickly and so then for long type so actually this is the lower bound and this is the upper bound zero is here and then long type has 64 uh, bit length size so actually long time is used while you deal with very large large very very large number for instance if you want to see how many miles or kilometers or inches or feet uh, light rays will travel in 10 years in 100 years or in thousand years or one million years or billion years right so in order to do handle with very large large variable then you will do uh, mm, 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 you will uh, do you will use long type variable but in general uh, i usually i rarely do this kind of program so in in your program maybe you rarely uh, will need uh, to declare long type variable because remember that uh, if you have very short values so but if you declare a long time variable then your memory will be misused and the program will take time in order to exec be executed but for this kind of short program you will not be able to realize uh, your uh, speed and memory losing uh, uh, effect so but definitely definitely you have to be careful okay so this is these are the range of integer type so long type mean range and max value so that i have stated over here in this uh, in this uh, slide okay. so now let us come to uh, to character type so okay so character types has no sign bit actually so this is why it takes all 16 bit in order to store uh, its data okay so store data so the range is will be 0 to uh, 65535 so if i open a character type and then run this program character type program so you'll see the mean value of character type is so character C A C R A C T E R. you have to type in complete name this is the wrapper class name is a class wrap of this is if you see this is the description of this wrapper class if you go down you will see the whole description okay and so this is this is the char or in lower case this is the type of character type and this is the corresponding this character is the corresponding wrapper class 
of character type remember it so in order to show the character type mean value and max value i had to type cast it to integer type okay so remember that i had to done this one otherwise it would not show me exact integer range so this is the lower range 0 and this is 65535 that that within character type variable you can put a, a any of uh, like until 65536 characters any of this one character at a time so for instance if i put 65 over here character type and then uh, actually this is 65 will be the corresponding ascii value so then can you remember what it will show it will print me if i put 65 actually it will print me a in uppercase a let me run this one again so a is in uppercase 65 and then and then i can actually i can define character types value in two ways one by typing in the corresponding ascii value or unicode value and alternatively by putting the variable the character within a single code for instance this i'm here i'm putting 65 65 is the ascii code of a character a so let me show it uh, in a ascii chart okay the ascii chart if you see the basic ascii chart 8 bit ascii chart it is it has you know uh, the position of 65 you see a is, is position is 65 okay for lower case a 97 okay and b is 66 c is 67 so if i say character 1 67 so what it will show c right and character 2 is a in upper case let me run this program so the character one is c because c is means 67 so you know if i want to make this then i have to make c over here equal so then okay so uh, we will talk about later how character types uh, variables are used but remember that character types are uh, can be defined or be, can be assigned with two ways either by putting the character within single course or by putting the ascii value of the character directly in integral form okay then mm, uh, okay so now later then i have okay so here actually in, in this like one two three four five in these five uh, programs i have shown how to uh, mm, mm, how to demonstrate like uh, this character and integral uh, data types okay so then later I, then after that actually i have <coughs> mm, committed these changes to my github repository so so github repository so i have pushed this code to my github repository as you know github push operation has four steps first one to check status second one to add third one to to commit and fourth one is to do put git push operation okay so if you want to know and then if you go to my github account actually github account and <coughs> this is the project i have been working on and it has in my src folder and data types it, it has in all of these codes and if you want to know how i, I created github account and I, how i mm, linked my github github project with my eclipse project then watch these videos then if you watch these videos then you will understand how to work with eclipse and github mm, uh, collaboratively that means how to connect your github project with your eclipse project and how to push your codes how to execute this code uh, in order to save your uh, programs in your github account so definitely have to if you watch this video then you will be able to see this so finally so if you like this video so please 
subscribe to uh, the CSIT experts online channel on YouTube so then and uh, please if you like this video please uh, put your thumb up and then if you have any comments please let me know thank you so much